It's not good for my cycling. If you get me all horny all the time. If you're serious about racing again, you should leave. I would go with you. I'm not ready yet. Mm. What's the matter? I thought I saw something. What? I don't see anything. There's nothing there. Maybe it was a goat. Oh, God, Spooney! What? What if it was? What? Look, there it is. I see it. Can you take me home? Hey, so. What? Do you want to come watch your ride tomorrow? Maybe. Good night. I thought I heard a rabbit in here. You okay? Dad, I want to go to college. Huh? Why? Because it's important. You're not happy at work? It's fine. Well, then, uh, then what's the problem? I'm a checkout girl. What's wrong with that? Yeah, but I hardly got enough work myself. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm talking about after I graduate. A little early to be talking about graduation. I mean, with your grades. And... Hey, look, it's four o'clock in the morning. So? What's going on? Nothing. What's my dad doing here? He just came by. I know he came by. What do you want? Nothing. He just... He just came by. You going to work? Yeah. Are you feeling better? Who told you I was sick? What did my dad want? Nothing. You're ducking me. No, I'm not.
Hey, I thought you were staying home today. Hi, Sylvia. Hi. You're right, Joe. She's gone and grown up on us. Well, look, anything you folks need, let me know. Bye now. Hanging out with the mayor now? Not doing a rental on his office. You off work? I'll drive you home. What were you doing at my boyfriend's? Relax, get in. I'm not getting in, Dad. What were you doing at Spumoni's? Just making sure he understands the rules. What are you making us for dinner? What color is it supposed to be? Pink. What color is it? I don't know. Here, <sighs> let me see. That's not pink, that's not even close. You sure? I told you, there's nothing to worry about. I don't feel like it today. That's a new one. Did you come here for that? Where are you going? You haven't switched us, have you? What? You know, me and, uh, what's his face? He gets to have sex with you and I get the stimulating conversation. I uh, haven't slept with Spumoni. Hmm. It's not that I care or anything, you know, if you're doing us both. Well, I'm not. I saw my dad talking to your dad today. Oh, yeah? So what? So my dad's not supposed to know about you. Who says he does? It's just weird. First he goes to Spumoni's, then I see him with your dad. He's probably just paying his taxes. You can let yourself out, right? Sylvia. Hey, Roddy. What's going on? Just out for a ride. Oh, yeah, with who? Me. Oh, sorry, dude. I didn't see you sitting there. Don't get wise. Don't get wise. Precious. Spumoni. Aren't you like 30 or something? 23. Well, you two have a fabulous evening. Meanwhile, I'm gonna be over there seeing how far I can get with, um... Uh... Kim. Right. Kim. 
sure you will. Hmm. Make sure the old man keeps his pants on, huh? something because his dad's the mayor. Let's get out of here. private. What did you have in mind? Open your lips, stupid. This morning, when my dad came to see you, he threatened you or something? No. take you home? Not here. I mean here, this town. I need to leave. What's wrong with it? It's like everywhere I look, everyone I look at. I don't know. Something's happening to me. What? It's this feeling I have, like Something's taking over in my body. I know it sounds crazy, but it's got something to do with this place. Like, if I stay in Lundford, I'll become a rapist or something. Whoa. That's heavy. Do you want to watch me ride tomorrow? Did you hear what I just said? Yeah, you know what, I'm sorry, so this town ain't so bad. If you were born here, you wouldn't say that. You just ended up here, no one forced you. Something. Something puts Pomonia in the house here. Oh, please don't. So what happened right there? That highway. Please. I was in the lead. I was winning. I was gonna get a major sponsor. I didn't hit that goat. I told you, there are no goats here. Why is that goat lake? Why is this goat mountain? They hunted them all, like a hundred years ago. You must have hit something else, a deer or something. I don't know what I saw. I was put here for some reason. I just don't know what it is yet. Oh my god. I see it too. What? A goat? <laughs> hey, Silk! Come on, Silk. Just stop it. Ow! Silk! I'm Siri. Sorry, so. Take me home. So I'm sorry. Take I me just... home, I said. Want to come watch me ride tomorrow? Sil? Come on.
You got her home pretty early. Damn. Freak. It's not funny. Yeah. She's the biggest slut in school. Come on. Dug in the double dutch. I'm the biggest slut in school. Lived for a year for sex. I'm a little tired. I bet you are. <laughs> Is this some sort of jealousy thing? Because that's a little weird coming from you. Stop loving yourself, loser. What was that stuff with Spumoni tonight? What? You know what? I was just warping him a little bit. I don't want him knowing about us. Relax, he's not gonna find out. You know, I think the old guy's in love with you. You're a creep. Never bothered you before. Hey, 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 come on. Let's go, hey. please. Oh, what's the big deal? Let go of me. Just keep your voice down. My parents are sleeping. Come on, let me let you. Get your hands off. Stop it. Come on. What's the matter? It's what you wanted. Stay away. Right. Hey. this tramp home with you? Hey! Screw you! Watch yourself. I can make things dreadful for you here. Well, you're looking swell. Yes, now. I got a call from Charlie Dutch. She says you were attacking his kid. Oh, yeah? Guess I'm the neighborhood bully. What about this? You went through my stuff? It's in the trash. You want to talk to me about anything? No. You sure? Yes. You still sick? I'm fine. You're all hot. Sad. What? Don't. When, when, when did you get that? Why don't you ask Charlie Dutch? Sylvia? Fine. Don't be scared. I'm not scared. You get to sleep now. I'll go see Mom tomorrow. Coming? Can't you just say a prayer or something? You ever gonna let me get my driver's license? I don't know. Say she doesn't drive off the road. Suppose she gets hit by lightning. That mean you never let me go outside?
Where are we going? Looking for somewhere to dump my body? There's a spot over there, looks pretty good. Stay here. Please return to the planet I was born on. Just stay here for a while. When is the mothership expected to arrive, sir? There's a woman who lives here. Her name is Marguerite. Thank you. That's better. Who's Marguerite? She's somebody who can help you. With what? Hey, it's official. You're freaking me out. <laughs> hey. Hey, easy. I'm sorry. I never talked to you about your mom. I should. There she is. Marguerite. What brings you up here? This is my uh, daughter, Sylvia. Hi. Oh, come on in. Don't slip in the pine cones. Bastards are everywhere. bother you? I didn't kill any of them. I just found them and fixed them up. That one was ripped wide open by a cougar. Oh, you should have seen the mess. Believe me, he's prettier now. I'm sure he appreciates it. Hey, I don't eat meat either. That doesn't make you special. So, how much does she know? <clears throat> Nothing. Okay, guys, stop it. What am I doing here? Sylvia, I love you. I'm waiting to remember that. I know what's happening to you. You're probably hungry all the time, right? Feeling sick to the stomach, not sleeping? Jeez, is that what this is about? Is that why you brought me here? Are you an abortionist? No. I'm a taxidermist. Yeah, right. Kate. Before you go any further, I'm not pregnant. I know that. I took a test and everything. I know you're not pregnant. You do? Sit down. Okay. I'm confused. <clears throat> well, are you gonna tell her or do you want me to? Sylvia, when you were born, everything was fine except you had this little black furry tail just just above your bum dad um i don't have a furry tail on my bum no not anymore they did this surgical procedure thing there's probably still a scar i haven't looked in a while it's a birthmark it's a scar we have this, um, this sort of family condition. 
A what? It, um, a condition that... And it runs in the family. Yeah. So, you've got a tail too? Sylvia, this is serious. <laughs> Your dad's only a carrier. A what? Some people don't show the markings, they just carry it. They're called carriers. So what do they carry? Their tails between their legs? I told you, carriers don't have markings. Lady, what markings? You're crazy, and so is she. I, I haven't got any stupid markings. What about the sores on your forehead? It's a bruise. Mm-hmm. Should be two of them. Yeah? So? Look, honey, they may be bruises now, but they sure as hell won't stay that way. Easy, easy, oh. easy. It'll pass. Yeah. Okay. You hold it yourself now. Keep the pressure on. That's it. What is this stuff? Grappa. Disinfect. I make it myself. Goes down good with some ice, too. Okay. That's it. stare all she wants. Might as well get used to it. There's no way I'm growing those things on my head. Afraid you don't have a choice, kid. I give them a few days. Yeah, when they start growing, there's no stopping them. Uh, are there other people like you? Like us. Who? It's not important right now. What about carriers? No one knows. No one knows how many. No one's supposed to know. I don't get it. There's a ledger. A secret list. The mayor keeps it. It's supposed to protect the identity of the markers. The mayor? Charlie Dutch said something to me. I didn't know what he meant. That's why you went to see him that day? Because I'm on some list? Sylvia. No, no. There's no easy way to tell her, Joe. We're not talking bits in a training bra right here, are we? And Joe, she's going to be a handful now. She's going to want to find things out. I need this later.
Beauty Queen. Someone here to see you, Sylvia? You want me to tell him to get lost? Can I come in? Things are different now, Sylvia. It's all changed. It's been in the house for years. I've seen it on the music channel. I keep wearing them again. Great. <clears throat> you gotta cover them, Sil. So. Whenever you're out of the house, always. I mean that. I'm never going outside again. For people in this town would be happy to hear you say that. They'd rather you not go outside at all. Me, I uh, believe that's right. There are limits. For starts, you you can never go outside without some covering. Anything else, Daddy? Yeah. Um, you can't talk to no one about this. Any of it. It's not proper conversation. Really? Shit, like you told me that. Been dying to talk to someone. Does Satan have a phone number? I know you're hurting, baby. Who else is there besides me? I told you, I don't know. You're lying. You have to trust me on this. It's better you don't know. Could you leave, please? What'd mom think of me? She didn't know. What about when I was born? The tail and stuff? She just thought it was a funny little thing her little girl had. Made it removed. That's that. She didn't know. How come you didn't tell her that you're a carrier? I guess part of me believed it. It would go away. That you wouldn't change. Hello? Who's out there? Spumoni? Judy kicks you out and come by my place, okay? So 
Always a couch with your name on it, buddy. Hi. Hey, darling. Go to the lake. What happened? I fell. What is that? Grandpa. I think it's like moonshine. <coughs> oh. Isn't this stuff supposed to make you go blind, so? So what's wrong? Spoo, do you love me? Do I love you? day I'm fixing this bike and I'm, I'm turning the wheel and I start to get all dazed because I'm staring in the spokes and that's what happens when you stare in the spokes for too long you start to get all <laughs> anyway um, I'm just staring into the spokes and all of a sudden I I see your face I'm just, just sitting there. It's like it's saying, hi, Spoo. But it's like in the way you like to say, you know, hi, Spoo. I stop spinning the wheel, and, and, I, and I, I get up, and I go to fix another bike. And then this bike, the brakes are screwed up really bad, so I'm, you know, I'm fixing the brakes, and I got this wrench in my hand, and I'm adjusting the wrench you know, for the bolt, but only the bolt's not there anymore. Instead, again, it's your face. I'm just sitting there, your, your little face. And the same thing, you know, I spoke. So I start to get nervous, because I don't want to turn a wrench and squeeze your face. And do. Yeah, I love you. <laughs> no matter what. Yeah. So, this is really important, all right? It's a time trial. Right. I gotta do it in under half an hour. Did you bring the watch? Yep. Okay, tell me when. Go. Sylvia, I'm not even on the pedals yet. Okay. Hey. You ready? How come you haven't got any hair on your legs? Just do the watch. I gotta reset it. Oh, yeah. Like, not even a single hair on your whole leg. Okay, here. How comes, Boo? I wax, all right? A lot of athletes do it, it's for road rash. Just. 
Tell me when. Go. I see him out riding all the time. Look, you know, I can't remember the last time he was in a race. People are saying that he's fallen off his bike, and now he's a little soft between the ears. I don't know. What do you think, Sylvia? How soft is he? Buddy. Hey, Sylvia, give us a call sometime, huh? Kim and I miss you a lot. Don't we, Kim? I do. Almost there. Just a little bit more. I need to tell you about something. What? It's about Roddy. What? I slept with him. A few times. While you and I were together. Spoo. snapped. Spoo. Can I come in? No. I'm gonna have to see sometime. Wait. My nipples. Dad? Yeah? Do you want to see? No, that that's all right.
Hey, Spoo. Hey. What's that? That's exactly what it says. Pomonia's last ride. You gonna tell me what it's about or what? That's it. I'm quitting racing. Shut up. No, you're not. I am. You love riding. Well, it's time I grow up. I'm never gonna make the Tour de France. So? So there's not much point, is there? Try to talk me out of it, so. Hey, Kim. What do you want? Prince Charming pissing you off? It's up to you. Or maybe we could compare stories. Mine's called Rowdy's Bag of Shit. What's yours called? Stay away from me, freak. What are you doing here? Same thing you are. So how are you getting on? <laughs> you serious? How do they feel? Different. You notice anything else? Let me see. Oh, it's not like being a superhero or nothing. No special powers. Oh, wait. I want to sleep with everyone I look at. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> Have you got any suggestions? For what? You know, the urges. Use protection. That's it? Yep. There's no, like, Cure? No, not a thing. Hey, hold up. Jeez. There's gotta be stuff you're not telling me. What do you want me to tell you, kid? Keep your pants on? It's your daddy's job. That's not what I meant. Tell me what I am. Well, kiddo, Lenford was a shanty town not so long ago. Just a camp in the middle of the wilderness. There were loggers and miners and trappers. Nothing but men. And they all came here and they... They took everything they could. They just raped all of it. The spot that we're standing in right now is where the animals came down from the mountain. And there were deer, mountain goats, all kinds of animals. And the men would wait here for them and slaughter them while they drank from the creek. They called it sport. And they did it night after night after night. 
until there was almost nothing left to kill. What's that got to do with us? The first women that they brought up here were prostitutes. And those women were the first witnesses to all of this was happening. And they began to turn. They began to change. So they started to bring in mail order brides, but the same thing kept happening. Those men were killers, every single one of them. And we, we were a constant reminder to them of what they'd done. We made them feel guilty. Blood guilt. And they hated us for it. They still hate us. They tried to kill all of the markers. Purges, they called it. Nature was punishing them, and so they persecuted us. That's why you're here tonight, Sylvia. For the spot. None of us can ever forget what they did here. Somehow we're all drawn to it. There's someone there. Don't you tell anyone about this place, not even your father. This is only us. Hello, freak. Enjoy the party last night? You were there? I don't go to those things anymore. They're boring. Brought you a fishing rod. You're lucky. I was 11 when I got mine. And the horns are the least of it. Wait until the hair on your legs start growing. What do you mean? Get a look at some of those older ladies. <laughs> it was dark. Trust me, it ain't pretty. After you find out, everything looks different. The town, everything. The place where you've been in all your life was never what you thought it was. People look at you funny. And you realize people always look at you funny. Those sleepovers you were never invited to. And those kids you remember in elementary school, but then you don't remember them after that. Shut away by their parents once they started to change. But no one's supposed to know. Are you talking about the ledger? It's pretty much the worst kept secret in town. How do you think Roddy found out about us? His dad's the mayor. I'm sure he knows who every marker is. Probably some little ten-year-old he's already got his eye on. What a sicko. Yeah, well, at least he's my sicko. I don't know about you, but nobody's exactly lining up to take me to the prom. You could do better than Roddy. Who says I want to? Look, if someone's into, I don't know, say, sex with 
midgets or something. Does that make him sick? Yeah. Well, I'm not to the midget, he's not. They're just happy for the attention. Personally, I wish there was more sickos. But he knew all about me before I did. It's creepy. Yeah, well, that's double dutch for you. Be happy with what you can catch. That's my philosophy. Do you eat fish? No. I throw them back. Sorry about snapping at you yesterday. It's just, it's not cool for Marcus to be hanging out in the middle of town. Could you put it back on, please? What? This? Yes. It's making me all hot and sweaty. For all the wrong reasons. Put it back on, I said. Oh, that's better. Sylvia! What is the big deal? Nobody's around. Would you sleep in that thing? No. Well then? Pretend we're on the top of this beach. Just especially for markers. I'm not taking my top off. Neither am I. Glad we cleared that up. Stay away from the edge, sweetheart. The rocks look slippery. Don't come any closer. I said don't you move. Come on, come on, we're going home now. Relax, lady, will ya? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Here, I'll take it. Come on. Could you folks keep it down, please? Shut up. Fish. No, don't look at that. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. That wasn't funny. Sure it was. What's the big deal? We gotta get out of here. Why? Just get your stuff. Heroes. What's going on? Freaked out the Parker's kid in there, totally pissed off. Better let me give you a ride. No way. That's right.
double dutch is back. Just drive, Roddy. Relax, we're gonna be fine. You know, I think I was six or seven when I first got a look at one of you a lot. Yeah, I got over it. I'm gonna be sick. So we going to your place? We should stay out of town for a while. What about Marguerite's? Yeah, right. That chick freaks me out. Let me guess, she turned you down, right? That's funny, but uh, no. My father was telling me a story about her, about her and my grandpa. He was mayor of this town like 50 years ago. Goat lady was his mistress. Shut up. It's true. You're a moron. Just drive. Do need to use the facilities? Wasn't this a hunting lodge? Yes, ma'am. Men only. Bathrooms are through those doors there. What did they do here? You know, the usual. Silly hats, secret handshakes. Once in a while, they'd sacrifice a baby. Hunters brought their animals in here, strung them up so they could skin them. Everyone sat around and watched? Something like that. Fire pits for roasting. Hey, you want to see something neat? I doubt it. Oh, come on. It's a little light reading. Look under the bees. Recognize anyone? Good job, son. My father was one of the men who built this whole thing. Built this town, actually. Nothing. He wasn't going to let a virus destroy him. Neither will I. Hey, let her go. You girls messed up today. Lucky that family was one of our own. What if they were from somewhere else? What then? Don't you see? We can't let it get out. This thing we have, we have to contain it. Get her! Oh.
I meet trouble. It's always about you, isn't it so? I was with Kim at the creek today. Then some guys, the mayor too, they... What? What are you talking about? They were waiting for us. They got Kim. I don't know what they did to her. Are you okay? I'm not okay. I'm not okay. The costume, is that where you were? You're at a party? A fashion thing? Clean up. It's food, don't leave. I'll be over there. Look at me. Look at me, I said. This is what I am. I'll be over there. I need you to take me somewhere. This is for mine. Yeah, I know who it is. Come on. I'm gonna wait in the truck. Something happened today. We, we, we were fishing and... How did you get here? She crawled. Jesus, your horns. They grow back. I'm so sorry. I should have gone back. Nothing you could do. What was that all about? That kid who saw you today was a punishment. Because of that family? That's crazy. They can't do that. They've always done that. I'm going to go to the police. What, in town? I'll go to the city. Then what? What are you going to tell them? You're going to tell them about us? Then what happens? Sylvia, it's different for us. This is wrong. You're wrong. Sylvia! Sylvia! Where is he? Don't be stupid, Sylvia. I saw the ledger. My mother's name. What happened to her? Tell me! She got killed on the highway. Don't say it was a car accident. She was walking. Walking? Walking where? Listen to me, Sylvia. She tried to leave here, too, but they didn't let her. What do you mean? She tried to leave Lundford. She was taking you with her. They run her down, cut off her horns. They left the body there for hours to warn us so we could see what they did. Oh, God. Oh, God. Why did this happen to us? What are we? She thought about all of it, Sylvia. The same things that are running through your head right now. She thought by leaving town, she'd find all the answers. There's nothing out there. We just got to make the best of it right here. You bitch! You give everyone their own little screwed up baptism before you tell them to go and hide in their hole. No way. No way I'm staying here. 
Let me guess. She just told you. I'd appreciate it if you stopped staring. Kid! When you look like we do, it isn't pretty wherever you end up. The way you make it sound, we're supposed to be ashamed of something. I don't get it. We didn't do anything wrong. When I saw everyone at the lake that night, it was incredible. The first time in my life I felt like I belonged in this place. I was a marker. I wasn't alone anymore. We're leaving. Sylvia! Blood guilt. That's what you called it. You said they were supposed to feel guilty, not us. Roddy told me something. About you and that mare? You don't know anything about that. You survived when they were killing everyone else. Why is that? You're the one that's ashamed of something, not me. George Kravchuk's truck. I don't recognize the other one. That's the only road out. No, it's not. There's another logging road. It goes past the junction at mile 41, then doubles back and joins up with the highway again. Driving at first light. Thanks for doing this. Spoo. Why didn't you ever want to hold me and stuff? I mean, I was always the one who, you know, touched you or kissed you even. And you never wanted to. It didn't seem right. You just started throwing yourself at me. It's like you weren't the same person anymore. I wasn't. I'm not. Why are you named Spumoni? My dad used to tease me about that say it's because it's nobody's favorite flavor. Hey, you're my favorite flavor. <laughs> it's not that, so. You're beautiful. What then? Why him? Why'd it have to be him? He represents everything that disgusts me. He was... available. could have used some contraception. Still, I'm gonna need some time.
done it with a goat chick? <laughs> there ain't nothing like it. You weren't that good, Double Dutch. So goddamn horny. find out everything, wherever that takes me. Will you come with me? Well, well. Animals out of hiding. You're not from here. Don't interfere. Where's my son? Why isn't he here? Let's get started then. Where were you running off to, hmm? We can't let you just leave like that. Figure your dad would have explained that by now. Dad? Joe. Come forward, Joe. She can still change her mind. Sylvia. Listen to me. It's not too late. Just promise that you'll stay here, baby. That, that's all they want. I can take care of you, like I always did. 
You'll be happy. I swear, you'll be you'll be happy. Please, please, don't be like your mother. You did this to her, didn't you? You go to hell! Come forward, Joel. Come forward and do what's right. I won't do that again. Charlie Sue? Stand down, Marguerite. Or what? Huh? You know where your job in this town is. Get away from her! You're not a very handsome man, are you? Not like your daddy was. He promised me I'd be safe. That he'd protect me from what was happening to everyone else. But then, he and his wife had a child. You. And she blamed me for it. Said I was the virus that Why don't you tell them what those are, Charlie Sue, huh? Only boy in Lundford ever to be born a marker. Is it true, Charlie? You elected me to do a job. I'm doing that job. Uh, uh, uh. This sounds silly, but I'm, I'm a little protective of Charlie Sue here. I don't know what you're going on about anyway, Ben. How is Caroline anyway, hmm? Suppose she pops her head out every now and then, what, to hang out your dirty laundry? And you, John. What about you? How's the little woman, huh? She's still making that lamb stew for you, even though the smell of it makes her sick to the stomach? Jenna, huh? She was the smartest kid in school until you made her quit. All of you. You all make me sick. You're the most cowardly sons of bitches I ever laid eyes on. Oh, yeah? Come on. All right, go on home, boys. Did you hear me? Get out of here. Hunting season's over.
You sure about this? There's more of us out there. Not from here, I mean, but ones we didn't know about. There's gotta be. They might know more about what we are. I don't know, kid. You have a reason to be here. For all of us, I don't. I can't stay here. I can't. Bye. Good luck. Thanks.